So, Orlison Vigra Airport, Echo November Alpha Lima is the latest release from Orbex. Uh, and it's also the first time that developer, Norwegian developer, Finn Hansen, has actually produced an airport for MSFS uh, or Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, it's really uh, ideally located uh, near to some major cities and actually is a, a destination um, for many an airline throughout Europe. Uh, but the key features here is you get the whole of the airport uh, depicted in uh, Ultra HD with PBR text stream, 15 centimeters of custom aerial ground imagery. So we'll see what that looks like. Uh, functioning hold short wigwag lights. Uh, you get some boats, so that'll be interesting to see if there's boats on the um, the water just off the runway. Uh, custom ground poly textures. There's a sloped runway, so it is seen in here. Uh, there are points of interest and landmarks around this area uh, with uh, seven North Sea spool base and uh, Subsea seven North Sea spool base and Kiski Bridge, if I pronounce that right. I probably haven't though and murdered it massively. Um, and obviously weather dependent ground polygon. I'm going to assume that's when it's wet. It's wet. You know, the ground shows up that way. Uh, custom edited ILS. Uh, you get the idea. It, it's a typical Orbex touch up um, that we all love, essentially. And I'm an Orbex fanboy. I'm going to put it right out there. I'm an Orbex fanboy. So already this is going to be up there. Um, but we will see. Uh, price wise. Better on your own local currency, as you can tell for me, being English, it's twelve pound ninety six, sixteen forty nine US dollars, fourteen oh nine euros. You basically, you'll be charging in uh, Australian dollars anyway, but that's an approximation for the price of this. So not actually that bad priced, if I'm being honest. And it comes in at a nice two gig. Now for me. All my Orbex scenery, I install, if you don't know this, outside of the sim. And I use Orbex Central. Um, have done in previous sims. It's how I do it. Orbex Central installs it on a separate drive and automatically creates that uh, link so the sim can read it. Uh, it just means that you know I can have a, a much bigger hard drive space, a separate hard drive to install all my scenery. And that's literally how I do it. And that's why I use this. I set it up that way. Um, so we're going to install it. Um, and then we'll jump in the sim. And then, oh, well, before that, we'll install it and see what uh, options are available uh, and what documentary. So, uh, document. Can we words out? What documents, not documentary, uh, will be available for this? So I'll come right back to you once it's installed. So the product's now downloaded and ready to go. Uh, word of warning, it's actually 2.02 gigabytes of data, not two gigabytes of data as advertised. You know, it's, uh, it's the little details that matter, right? Um, and in keeping with most of the Orbex products we see these days, you know, we're showing a user guide when we click it, there is none. Now, the old user guides used to give you a bit of information about the airfield itself and also show you where all the custom points of interest are for you to go and visit. Given the fact that now that the map within Microsoft Flight Simulator does show this, it's highly likely this is why there is no need for a user guide. But with that said, let's go now see what it looks like in our sim. So here we are into the airfield uh, on the runway straight away. Uh, just to see if we can have a look at this uh, curved or, or sloped runway. As we can see, it's, it appears to be heading uphill um, here, which is actually pretty cool. And then as it heads uphill, it starts to flatten off and downhill, I guess. But yeah, so the runways are not, slow, uh, are not flat, which is a great start. I like that already. Um, now let's have a look at the airport itself. So the textures look cool. You know they look more realistic, like ground textures, and uh, the buildings always look more detailed with ground vehicles there. 
But yeah. So adds a lot more detail. You've got a building site. Yeah, that's pretty cool over here. And would be nice if the were animated instead of static, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. Uh, but yeah, so a few more buildings. I'm not really attempt to pronounce some of these that we're seeing. Vans. But, you know, it's, it looks like a nice airport to actually come into and approach with the uh, water around. and It does look really neat. <coughs> Have we got anything on the other side? So, obviously, we saw the car park earlier. down here so so, it's a, so uh, Lufthaven if I am pronouncing that right is actually uh, Norwegian for airport you learnt something in this review so you got the buses um, I don't know if they would but it would be cool if the buses animated you know and drove off but he'd, again I don't know the limitations within Microsoft Flight Simulator and what they can and can't do. You know, people flow with something that Orbex are massive on, especially in the P3D times. So, you know, in terms of this, maybe if they could, they would implement it. And for, you know, SDK limitations, maybe they can't. A little uh, fire escape there. Didn't notice as well is whatever TAF yard is or something. And Luft transport, air transport. So there's some kind of uh, static aircraft here. One thing I do like actually is there is no static aircraft on the apron because, you know, as most people know, when you fly online, you don't want to have static aircraft filling up the stands uh, because. You know, you end up spawning on them, or you get told to taxi to the stand that's already got a static air for aircraft pointing on it. Um, the in terms of, and I don't think this is right because, as you see here, gate 11, which I spawned on, I'm facing the wrong way. So I don't know if anyone knows how to change this. And if you do put in the comments, but when I spawn to the, I actually asked to spawn on to gate 11, stand 11, and it's put me this way round by default. Now, looking at the markings on the ground, that shouldn't be happening. So, yeah, uh, you should be pushed uh, straight in. Look, you've got the pushback vehicles there. You should be straight in. That should be straight so I don't think that's correct. It could be me. I could have done something. Uh, but let's go and change it into night time. So let's have a look at this. And let's go night time. Okay. So I'll get the light in. So the taxiways super clear. I like that. And let's have a look. Oh yeah. Look, oh, there's the lights. Uh, the wigwag lights for the runway. Oh, yeah, the lighting certainly looks good. I do like it. It's all lit up nicely with the taxiways and then the apron. that moon anyway I digest so let's go back to daytime and let's see if we can have 
grey. Just lift this up a bit. Because they need to say this meant to get the ground textures. Have I done this wrong? Okay. That's better, isn't it? Ish. Now the cloud's too low. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. It does look nice with the uh, ground textures. It does look like it's a really wet tarmac. I do you like that? Ooh, clouds just rolled in. What about if we go snow? I don't know. sure why some of it's covering, some of it's not. Okay. Well, that's the airport. You know, on the whole, I do like it. I do like it. Um, those look nice. Oops. Far, far better than the default. Uh, but there is a point of interest that I saw earlier that I want to check out. So, let's head over there now. So just some of the POIs that have been modeled into this scenery uh, surrounding this is, again, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly, but GISK, G-I-S-K-E, or GISKE, bridge that should have modelled into the scenery. Uh, you've got then the island of Gisk, or Giske as we said, and then just as we would have seen from the airport earlier, and then just off the airfield I've seen here is the Sub-7 North, uh, North Sea Spool Base, if I can get my words out correctly. So they've modelled this in uh, to the sim uh, quite nicely actually. So you see the pipes running all the way along. Back to the uh, plant. But like I say there's plenty to go at in this area. So how do I feel about this, this scenery overall really? Well, as I stated before, I'm a massive fanboy of Orbex. You know, I love the fact that they give you an airport and then they give you other little bits and pieces in there, like bonuses. You know, this is a really nice place to fly into. Minus some of the quirks that Microsoft Flight Simulator has with the water, etc. That's not Orbex's fault at all in this. What they've done here, though, is brought you an airport that is absolutely beautiful to fly into. Yes, we could see animations. And, you know, I, I don't know if that is something that Orbex missed off on purpose or not. It certainly keeps the price down. Um, but if you want somewhere in Norway to fly into that's different, that's a big enough airport that takes your airbuses down to your Cessnas for a local fly around, this is the place. You know, beautiful approach, a sloped runway. Um, you know, they've really picked a great uh, airport to bring to Microsoft Flight Simulator. So, all in all, you know, with the lighting, the different textures, uh, you know, from night and day, everything about it, I absolutely love it. I'm going to give this... 
I would give it five out of five, and it's tough. You know, I'm going to give it 4.5 out of five. And the only reason why I'm taking that half off is because there is no animation in here. And I want to take it, you know, in, in, in for what it is, you know, right in front of me. You know, it, it may well be that Obex turn around and say, well, we couldn't do that. We'd love to, but we couldn't do that because of limitations. And so be it. But we can only take it from face value and what other Orbex products are out there that we've all seen if you've been in this industry for a while. So I can't give it five full five, but it's not far off by any stretch. It's just the subtle, the subtle, subtle things in there. So four and a half out of five. You know, for the price, you can't argue. If you want somewhere in Norway, this is the place to go. If you have any other questions, anything you want to add, you know, add it to the comments below, please. I love to interact with you. And as always, please subscribe. Please like the video. It really does mean a lot and it helps me grow. Uh, but other than that, I'll see you soon.